Hey everyone, welcome back to part 2 of this series. So in this part we are going to set up our retrofit and dagger hilt. So for dagger hilt, right click new, go to kotlin class slash file and create application naming base application. And this class is going to extend the application class annotated with hilt android app. And then after go to your android manifest and register your application so go to dummy api.io and create a new account for yourself go to your profile screen and here you can see this interface here you can generate your app id so this is my app id all right so now go to your postman so postman is basically used to test the rest api so this is our base url or you can say the endpoint and by hitting that api we are going to get the data which we want in our application and here you can see you need to add this app id as a header so this is our app id and the data is coming in the form of json here you can see so i am going to copy all this data go into our project and within our data layer you can see here within our data module within our network see we have model so right click new kotlin data class file from json paste your json and here i am going to give the name block dto so dto is basically called data transfer object so the object which is used to send data from web service to our application and in the data is actually the blog so i am going to rename this to block dto a single block and we have honor so i am going to change the name honor dto without checking this parameter select ok all right so now we are going to set up our dagger hilt so for dagger hilt right click here generate a new kotlin class slash file and uh, i am going to give the name is data module Alright, so make this an object annotated with installing singleton component and annotated with module because it is a module and within this we are going to create a function which is actually returning me a retrofit object so fun or you can say provide retrofit all right so it will return me a retrofit object now return retrofit builder dot base url so we are going to create a base url and after that we have to add converter factory so i think without base url it will it is not working so base url dot add converter factory json converter factory dot create reformat this and that's it after calling build we are getting a retrofit object from this function all right reformat it and go to your network package right click new create an interface api service so this interface is going to be implemented by the retrofit here we are going to make a suspend function get blocks all right and at the top this is a get method of http so we represent get or you can say annotate with get and pass the endpoint which is post and it will return me a response of blocks dto all right so jump into our data module and here i am going to create a function which will provide api service return and we need to pass a retrofit object because retrofit will actually implement this so retrofit dot create pass api service class dot java that's it 
and annotate with provides all right so we successfully set up our dagger hilt and retrofit for our data layer now jump into our domain layer and here you can see we have a, a model so in this model package i am going to create a three data classes so for first one is our blocks create a data class go to your blocks dto copy all these things jump into your block and paste in here all right now generate a new kotlin class naming blog so this is data class go to your block in the data layer or you can say in the data module come into your domain block paste all the information in here and lastly we are going to create an honor this is also a data class copy this paste in here all right so this is representing this blog so this blog and blocks remove this tto so these are our domain objects we are using these objects within our application this is used for actually transferring data from a web service to our application and then after we are going to map these DTOs with our object which is present into our domain layer. Alright, so we have a mappers and we are going to map the DTOs with our models which is present in our domain layer. So for that I am going to create a file and I am calling this mappers. So this is a file. We are receiving a list of blog so for that we are creating list of blog dto to domain and it will return a list of blog so now this blog is present into our domain module so for that for accessing this blog we are going to add the implementation project in our data layer so build.get data layer go here and just duplicate this and here add domain sync your project go to your mappers and here you can see we can uh, find our blog now we are going to use a map function here so map and i am going to return a block all right so now we are going to map so here you can see this honor is actually giving me an error because it will return a honor dto but here we have honor which is present in our domain layer so for that we are going to make a function and we are using honor dto dot to domain and it will return an honor which is present in our domain layer so return an honor and here you can see we passed first name id last name picture title everything and i'm using this function over here so to domain and here you can see our error will gone all right so this is all for our mapper and if we need any other kind of transformation we can add all this in this particular mapper class file actually so that's it go in our domain layer which i am actually and now i am creating some repositories so right click here go to new cotton class class file and this is an interface so the first repository is called blocks repository all right now within this blocks repository we have a subsequent function get blocks and it will accept uh, it will return a response of 
list of post or you can say blog all right so this is our first function all right Now we are going to implement this repository within our data layer repository. So right click, go to Kotlin class slash file and blocks repository IMPL. So this is an implementation. Create a class, extend this or you can say implement the blocks repository which is present in our domain layer and this will uh, return us a list of blocks so we are going to call so here i am using something which is called safe api request so this is an abstract class and we are going to copy paste that class within our utils over here So here, uh, here we have two classes, first is for our exception and the second is safe API request. So we are using this in our uh, calling of our retrofit function. So here we are going to chala lamba ho gaya na. sometimes our server will send null within this parameter so to prevent our application uh, what we are going to do we simply make all these parameters nullable so for that I am using this question mark so now these parameters are nullable now go to blocks TTO and add the question mark to in all the parameters so if it is a case data is coming from the server is null then our application will not crash so just like blocks TTO in our on TTO we also append this question marks now go to mappers and here you can see we have a problem so what if it is a null then use LBS operator and pass the a default value so I am passing empty string. So like is a integer number. So for that I am passing zero. Now if our honor is null on that occasion we pass a honor object and use empty string within this for first name, for ID, for last name for picture and for our title so if publish date is null we pass an empty string all right so here you can see we pass a default value if it is the case our server will send null so by using this approach we prevent the application crash so just like our blog we are doing the same thing within with this our honor
so we successfully prevent our null cases so that's all for this video and in the next video we are going to set up our repository part so thank you for watching this video see you in a next video